Welcome to Negara Brunei Darussalam. This is the view of the new Brunei International Airport. In the past, during the reign of 28th Sultan of Brunei, Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin Saad Bukhairi Wadi, Brunei, has started on building the mosque on February 4, 1954 and completed in 1958. The mosque is sited on a 5-acre site and the actual size of the mosque is 225 feet by 86 feet. It has a capacity of about 3,000. Masjid Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin, named after the 28th Sultan of Brunei, the late father of the current Sultan. Today, this mosque has become Brunei's best known landmarks as well as praying place for Brunei Muslim. Even though the mosque was officially opened by His Majesty on the September 26, 1958, the ceremonial sitting boat located in the lagoon beside the mosque was built much later and was completed in 1967. The barge is a replica of a 16th century Sultan Bukiah Smahligai and cost $1.4 million. Formerly, the water village or Kampung Air in Malay is a water settlement that houses some 30,000 people, half the population of the city. All the buildings are built over the Brunei River and stand on stilts. As you can see here, one of the villagers uses canoe or sampan in Malay as transportation from one place to another. Today, long wooden speedboats, water taxis serve as means of rapid transport for the water village. It only costs 50 cents up to $1 for each passenger, depending on the distant points. In Brunei folklore, the legend of Nakoda Manis tells of how an ungrateful son was turned to the rock known as Jong Batu, which is situated in Brunei River. From a distance, the water village looks like a slum, but it has mosques, restaurants, shops, even a school and a hospital. It enjoys modern amenities such as electricity, plumbing, air conditioning, satellite television, and internet access. Taman Peranginan Tasik Lama, which is situated about 2 km north of the city center, is one of Brunei's small version of park which has greenery, picnic areas and peaceful walks to a small waterfall and a large reservoir. Locals come here to do Tai Chi and jog. It's either in the morning or in the evening. Visitors usually come here to relax their mind and admiring the view. Locals or visitors may also use the exercise apparatus such as reflexology area. Another favorite destination of local tourists in Brunei recently is the Agro Technology Park in Tunggu. Heading towards the left from the entrance, you will walk through a wooden hut that is connected to a bridge which gives you a perspective of the entire park in all its glory with its manicured lawns and exquisitely sculptured plants. With free entrance, the park is open daily from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Except for Fridays, is closed from noon to 2 p.m. for Friday prayers.